Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is Mingo with Q3 of the Bi Weekly Contest 61 Maximum Earnings from Taxi. Hit the like button, subscribe, and join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this problem. So, yeah, and you know, in the chat, there are a lot in the Discord chat, there are a lot of smart people who are in the top 100, I think. So, just come by and chat, and you know, even I learn something from time to time. So, yeah, anyway, today's problem is maximum earnings from taxi. So, this one's a little bit weird for me in the sense that I feel like I've done something similar lately. Um, yeah, because I think. I think I like maybe it was a daily problem or something like that because I don't do that many other problems. Um, but yeah, but the idea, there are a couple of ways to do it. I think there's a dynamic programming maybe, but but the way that I do it is from a uh, sweep line algorithm. So basically, the idea I, I have, and this is me drawing on the trackpad, so this is going to be a little bit terrible. Sorry about that. So you're just sweeping from left to right. First, I sort by the, I have I have the starting points, right? So I have starting points here, starting points here. And you know, and of course, this represents maybe some, some, uh, oops, some things here, right? And then, you know, something like that, right? Uh, so a lot of line segments, both the beginning and the end, right? Uh, wait, did I show it on screen? Oh, wait, no, I didn't show it on screen. Hang on. Uh, oops. That would be awkward. Yeah, so you have something like this going from left to right. And the idea here is that there are two types of actions right, or, that you can handle. One is the beginning action. One is the beginning action. And one is the end, right? And the end is, you know, the end of the segment. And, and the thing that you ask yourself, or I ask myself, and let's actually choose one in the middle. This one and this one. Right. Um, the thing that I ask myself on the one on the left is, okay, here, what answer am I trying to get? Well, the answer that I'm trying to get is actually the best answer that is from all the previous answers um, of all the endpoints, right? Because, th for, uh, for example, so all the greens are good, but for example, the red ones are no good, right? Because we overlap. So we don't process the endpoints yet, and we are currently at this pink. Again, I'm drawing on the trackpad. Usually I have a mouse and I'm a little bit better at the mouse than the trackpad, but I'm traveling, I'm in Spain right now, so I apologize. But yeah, so at the pink, let's say we're at the pink, we're processing from left to right. We want to get all the green ones where, you know, if you have more green ones, for example, you can imagine, oops. You know, let's say there's another one. Um, you can have another green one here, right? So yeah. Uh, so you want to process everything on the green one. It's kind of different green, I apologize. But yeah, so at the pink, you want to process all the green, but not the red. So so that's basically the idea I have here, um, is that, okay, at the pink, we set up something to process at the other, um, choosing a color. I think I've used too many colors. But yeah, in this kind of, I don't know what this color is, right? So at the pink, we want to add something to be processed at the other point. So that as we keep going, so for example, now, let's say the new pink is here. Well, then we could process the red. Oh, these are terrible arrows. I'm my bad friends. But yeah. Um, but yeah, that's basically the idea. And hopefully that makes sense. I mean, right now I'm not doing anything specific to the problem, but that's the idea behind the sweep line, and that's how I did it. Um, yeah, so let's go over how I code it up. So of course I use a heap because I wanted to be able to add and subtract. You can also use a sorted list, I guess, or other data structures that let you get the min. As long as you have something that lets you get the min in reasonable time, of course, um, this should be good because n is 10 to the fifth, so n squared is going to be too slow. So in this case, in log, if you do something that lets you get min and log n, then this will be n log n. So okay. So again, this is me setting up the events. Um, so I have my events are the the x coordinate, the um, the uh, what you might call it, the event type, and then the index, which is you know the the index that write the maps to writes. Um, yeah. And then I, I sort it, not really sorting it, but I heapify it. Um, I set the current best because as we're going, because if you think about us, you know, in the diagram, going from left to right, as soon as we update the best, we can use everything to the left, right? So there's no, like, query or anything. You can use everything to the left. So that's basically what I have here. Um, yeah, so basically you have, oops, current is the current uh, point, T is the... Uh, the, uh, event type and X is, depends on the event type, right? 
Um, so x is equal to index if t is, is start, x is equal to uh, cost if, or, or profit, I guess, if t is n, right? And n, I have negative 1. The reason, this is a little bit subtle, um, but the reason why I have y as negative, or the n is negative 1, and this is 1, is because for tie-breaking reasons. Because if if the current point is the same, then we want to end the ride before we start a new one. So that's why we have this as negative one. But yeah, but this is otherwise everything we said, which is that, okay, so given this, if this is type one, meaning this is the starting point, then we just look up the, the end of this point. And then at that point, we create a new event of that ending point of type n. And then this is just the, the profit, right? Um, the current best profit that ends at that point, at the point e. Because this is the profit of uh, uh, that you get for taking this ride, and this is the current best. So that's all the profit to the left of this ride, and this is the profit of this ride. And then yeah, and then at way n, oh sorry, if um, if this is the n type, then you just update the best because we already did all the work here. So then we just update the best to the current best, and at way n, the the current best that you have left standing should be your best answer because that's, you know, you're basically, at, you can count in that infinity and then everything to the left of infinity is current best and that gets you the answer. Um, yeah, so uh, again, because of this heap pop and heap push, this is an n event or two n events, I'm going to count that, then it's going to be n log n for time. In terms of space, we only use events, so this is going to be linear space. Uh, cool, cool. That's all I have for this problem. Let me know what you think and you can watch me solve it live during the contest next. Watching it. Maybe I should not compete in live, but it's okay. All right, let's actually read the problem now instead of talking about it. <clears throat> I looked for negative numbers, but I didn't look for zero. Hmm. Okay, let's just start on this one. Okay. Start and tip. Okay. Mm, there are a couple of ways you can do this. Uh, I think we are going to do this, but I'm not sure. Is it inclusive? So how do I process the start? Process the best end. Okay. Okay. No, that's not right. So when the process to start, we we'll look at all the possible numbers here. Okay, yeah, okay. that's good to keep. Mm. 
Okay. Now we want to push fifth tier is equal to one and it's a start type. <coughs> and we push into the queue. And let's see, ending. So so one, so one. And is any number of the point for the event, and then in that I guess doesn't really matter. In this case, this is still um, Okay, that's the end is equal to right to the end. So then this is going to be the end. Then this is going to be n minus colon plus tip, which is right set uh, index of 2. Okay. Else, else we have the current, and then now we process. Well, that's the thing. But now we have to get best right, or the current best um, otherwise now we process the end then now we do current best is equal to max current best and then x and then that's it, I guess. Hmm. I guess current press is also the best at the end, so let's see. 5 and 18, that's not right. Hmm. Did I mess that up? 5 minus 2 plus 7, okay. Starts at 1, it processes at 5. Hmm. That's weird, okay. Let's see. So it puts both of these at four and the five, but then five is the max. Why did I get seven? Can you mess that up? Five minus two plus four. Mm. Can I mess this up? Hmm. Oh, index is not right. Um, this is the index, x is the index, yeah, okay, so this is x, I got confused, okay, 7 and 20, that looks good, let's remove our print statement, and let's give it a spin, maybe today is a lot long answer data, okay, cool, uh, let's see, uh, hey everybody, thanks for watching. Uh, hit the like button, subscribe button, join me on Discord. I'm in Spain right now, so I'm just chilling. Uh, I did a lot of wrong answers as a result, but it's all right. Anyway, stay good, stay healthy, to good mental health, to good lead coding. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.